So today I'm going to do a review on this thing. It's a MiniWare ES15S motion control screwdriver. This was sent to me at no cost by MiniWare, so thanks a lot for that. Let's open it up, just like that. I've already opened the case. Here's a screwdriver. Now this is a motion control screwdriver. The idea is that you can actually turn it and it will change direction. It's pretty cool. And then under here we've got a whole bunch of bits which are in foam. So be nice if these were inside a case instead of just in foam. I don't know if there's like another version of this which has them inside a case. I mean, I imagine there probably is, um, but they're like the standard size bits anyway. So I've got other screwdrivers here which these are probably fit into. Like, so I've got this thing here, for example. I bet these are the same size. Yeah, same size bits. So um, nice and common, no problems there. So I'll put it back in there for now. Uh, I'll just say motion control because yeah okay avoid manual twisting recommended screws up to three millimeters only right recommended for three millimeters I mean this sort of screwdriver is meant for doing precision stuff anyway like laptops and phones and things like that smaller devices but you're doing lots of them which is why you tiny use this sort of thing anyway so up to three mil I think that's probably fine if you needed something bigger than that then you probably wouldn't be using this anyway quick look at the manual I'm not going to read this you can specs there uh, 700 milliamp battery charging time 90 minutes approximately two and a half hours working time which is good 470 rpm manual torque 20 kilogram or kgf per centimeter and electronic is 1.6 kilogram or kgf per centimeter maybe I'll look at a couple of things I'll set button on the screen run button LED light how to use it maybe we'll look at this I hope you're reading it I'm not it's got an impact function as well retract function firmware upgrade let's look at the thing there's the set button these use USB-C port there for charging it I believe you can also do configuration files or do like an external setup file and you can put it on the device directly rather than trying to set it to the menu. Although the menu I think is quite easy. I did have a little play with this before. So I push it now, it says long press set button to unlock. See that? Because I've locked it. And this is how it comes from factory as well. So it won't actually work right now. It's in like a battery management mode they call it. So if I long press the set button. There we go. Right, so there's the modes. Look at this way up. So we've got two, auto, and battery. All right, so we go. So this shows it's going inwards. Let's get a bit in here so you can see what's going on. Here it is. Now, and it's got auto mode set. Now this currently isn't doing anything. If you put it three times it goes into the menu. So if I'll do it again. It's going straight in. There's menus. Positive, negative, locks, automatic. Okay, so automatic mode. So this is zoom out slightly. So it should change direction. And if you tip it, alright. So you can see it's going different ways. It's detecting which one I'm tipping at. See that? So if I do it this way around, maybe it'll be more obvious as well. There you go. So you just turn it the direction you want to unscrew or screw and it changes direction. Now it's got the adjustable torque, I've got the torque currently set to 2. Three, four, five. So 5 is the highest torque, 1 is the lowest torque, depending on what you're doing. Now let's see if I can get something to actually take some screws out of, let's have a look. So I've got an old MacBook here which I've got to repair, well this one's actually quite bad condition, I'm not sure if I'm going to be repairing this one or not. But have a look so 
this bit actually has the bit for these screws. There's the bit that actually fits these things. Number 1.2 comes in the kit, so that's fine. No miss it about there. Turn this on. Now. Yep. So I think you can turn it and then push the button. Certainly got quick and done it by hand. Those two screws are already missing. So that is how quick it was to get into it. Alright. In. So this busy laptop's got some big issues, so yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll put the cover back on this one. One of these laptops, which is in my list of things to do. What's that? Talks it to one. So let's put these back in again. We'll see how this goes, shall we? See what it does. I'm trying to do these. Wake up. I'm trying to hold it loosely too. I don't want to strip the screws out by accident because I'm not quite sure how this behaves yet. Yep, that stopped by itself as well. Yeah, hold it too loosely. That's probably got, I think. It turns off a bit quick for my liking. Yeah, I keep dropping it too. I think it turns off a bit qu too quick for my liking. It really does. And that's for the talk on the lowest setting. I mean, it is turning quite quickly too. I mean, I do have the revs quite high. Um, maybe I should do it slower. Or even like dropping back out the menu is a bit quick. I think the menu stuff and the actually controls are just a bit too quick for my liking. Hold it down, speed 220 rev, okay, do that. Let's try doing these other two screws slower instead, see if that will be a bit easier to do. Yeah, that's easier, that's better. I think the slow revs might be actually a better idea. Oh, pop out, we go. So, yeah, I think Slow revs actually seem like a better idea than the fast revs. Let's take this one back out again. Again, it's turned off again. It's like now I've got to wait for it to turn back on. It's like. Right. Okay, go back in again. Yeah. The button would be better served down here. So you could. Instead of up here, where you've got no grip. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not liking that part of it actually. High sensitivity, impact is off, retreat is off, light is on, backlight is three, beep is on, language is English, battery safety thing is oh yeah, I'm still right. And software version, there you go. Software version. Too late, missed it. Cause the menu's too bloody quick. There it is. Come on, focus on it before I lose it again. <sighs> Yeah, this is this needs fixing and firmware. This display update thing and and changing is just too fast. It doesn't stay on long enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think it goes to sleep too quick. I don't like that. They need to fix that part. Um If you keep pushing the button to keep it awake, it might be alright, but yeah, I'm not a fan of that part. You know, be messing around trying to get, like you saw me doing there, trying to get the screws ready. Now I'm ready to use it again. Oh, it's gone off. 
and you have to wait. You know? Um, let's do this one over here. Yeah, that's okay like that. At that lower speed, it actually does it a better job. Um, in this situation, this particular work, it, it seems to be better at the lower speed. But again, the display has already gone off again. You know, and it's like, well, I mean, yeah, I suppose it's something you get used to, but to me, it's a bit quick for my liking. Yeah. But you can do it manually as well, so this is automatic like direction sensing, but you can also lock it to be manual in like clockwise or only clockwise, you know, loosening or tightening screws and so it only ever does one direction. You could do that too if you want. If you're undoing a particular job, say you're assembling something, it might be better for that, but uh yeah, I don't know, this this is sort of textured but not well enough. Now I've got these other two screwdrivers here. I've got the well stick and I've other one which is like a generic thing. I use these sometimes. Time these got different sized bits in them, so I've got a smaller bit in this one, a bigger bit in this one. Because this one can only do lower torques, it's not quite so strong. This one's a bit stronger, so I've got a bigger bit in it. That's why I have these, and they're like we're just ready to go. You know, if I want to use it, there you go, just push the button, done. No messing around, no waiting. Just push them, and they're done. All right, nice and simple. This is a bit more missing about. I mean, let's do it from off state, shall we? Wait for it to turn off again. And we'll do, say, the screw here at the front. Turn it on, wait, turn it. I mean, it's not that bad. I think part of it is getting used to using it. To look inside. The flex there. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that too much. Don't want to damage it. Okay, but that could be taken apart if you really wanted to. That's how you get into it. <laughs> really fine threads. It's quite precision machining. It's got another little cap here too, which also unscrews. I found that before because it wasn't tight when I got it. It's just for this end piece here. So if you wanted to, you could take the motor apart, I suppose, but uh, I don't really want to. I imagine this cap here also unscrews, does it? Yes, it does. It's a fine thread. And also, if you had tried to take it all apart, you could have got that out. I mean, I think this will just lift out this display part here. Feels like it wants to lift, but I'm not going to do that. But as I've left the other piece intact, yeah, kind of wants to lift. Anyway, that looks like I say you get it apart. Um, I'm going to put it back together before I break something. I don't actually want to tear it down. I want to use the thing. I'm hoping it'll be better than the other ones I've already got. In this case, I was getting used to it, really. The automatic direction thing's a nice thing, really, but with these ones, it's got two buttons, and they're close to where you actually hold it. You know, here that you know, down here, you're holding it down here, and you know, going like that is much more natural than, I suppose, trying to turn the thing. You know. Also, you can use it as a normal screwdriver too. That's what the grippy bit is probably really meant for. But um, yeah, I think it's case of getting used to it, really. So, what's my opinion of this thing? It's a little bit gimmicky. It does seem to work okay though. Once you get used to the way it functions, I don't like the way the display stays on for such a short time. It really needs to be on for longer. I'm obviously they're looking at battery drain and trying to improve longevity because early displays do draw a bit of power. So I can understand that aspect of it, but if you're actually trying to use the thing and the display is turning off, that's kind of irritating. I think they should like literally double display on time, especially the menu. Like display on time for the menu stuff, 
too short, double that time. The actual usage, I don't know, increase the time by 50%, probably be right. I mean, that obviously increased battery usage, but I think it improved the user interface. You know, the actual usability, I think that's a fair trade-off. And it's USB-C, so it's not like it's a big deal. We just plug it in and charge it up again, you know. It's not using it continuously for two and a half hours, is it? <laughs> you know, you put it down, on and off, on and off, and put it down, charge it if you need. I don't know. There'll be a link down below to go to the Miniwares site to look at this thing in more detail, and also there'll be a link to buy one. So, go and have a look. There's the bits it comes with. I forgot to mention that. I mean, it is not a cheap device. These aren't cheap. Build quality feels fantastic, as is often the case of Miniware. Whatever you think a motion control electric screwdriver is worth that money to you, depends on how many screws you're doing. If you're doing lots of small screw stuff and lots of disassembly or lots of reassembly work, I'm sure that you'd want something like this. I mean, all these little electric screwdrivers are useful. It's a case of figuring out which one you prefer. I think this one will be fine once you're used to it. I mean, I'm used to using these things, right? But these simple, dead simple interfaces, the buttons. But again, this is smooth, right? I find this has got its trade-offs as well, even though it's a well stick and these got you know, a fairly good name too. Because they're smooth and you're holding the button, when it actually hits to, you know, the screw finishes and stops turning, this will spin in your hand. Right? You lose control of it as well, because it's smooth. So these aren't perfect either. So at least this has got some texturing on it, so you've got something to hold on to. And it's got adjustable torque and adjustable speed. I think those other ones do actually as well, but it's not so obvious to do it. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks down below. Catch you later.